their visors down, we should see the final approach resume. Copy inbound. Mission copy. And we're going to be racing that sunset. The approach has resumed. Dragon closing in. We're inside 20 meters. And yeah, that, that crew hands-off point uh, should come up in about three minutes or so, uh, right before we get that final docking. It comes about 20 seconds prior, or just about two meters away from the station still. And that's uh, just the crew not issuing any abort commands. At that point, it would be uh, too late and so any aborts would be executed automatically by Dragon itself. So we're closing in at less than a tenth of a meter per second at this point. You can see the, the service section Draco is just doing all these very small minor attitude corrections. Really the, the autonomous docking system at work, making sure that the the uh, vestibule and the soft capture system is lined up with IDA2, it's the international docking adapter. You can see much more clearly there the hinge mechanism for the nose cone. Those four uh, black circles are the forward bulkhead Dracos, not to be used at this time. And then, of course, the, the pedals of the soft capture system. Wow. Dragon on the big loop, we're inside 10 meters. We cannot make out the docking target, but we do see the outline. We copy and concur, 10 meters. All right, we're less than 10 meters away. Again, we're closing at that rate of less than a tenth of a meter per second. We should be just about one minute, 45 seconds away from docking. There is a, uh, a center line camera right in that middle so that you can see where the Ford hatch is uh, and right in the middle of that there's a window and there's a center line camera that is aligned with the center of the vehicle and the center of the docking mechanism. So that is, is what the autonomous docking system is using to line up with uh, sort of a cross hatch, um, cross target on the, the docking port. Again, the Ford docking port um, on PMA2, or the pressurized mating adapter. And we are just five meters away. Again, we're racing that sunset. This dragon continues to close four meters to go. Those shadows of the, of the space station on the vehicle. Yeah, you can actually see the uh, centerline camera pretty clearly there. Um, sort of with the contrast of the, the sun right now. Three meters to go. Two meters. We are inside the hands-off point, the chop, the crew hands-off point. One meter to go. Soft capture complete. Dragon is <laughs> Soft capture confirmed. Stand by for retraction and docking. Stand by. And we just heard it. Soft capture. We have docking. That coming at 7.16 a.m. Pacific time with the station and Dragon flying 262 statute miles right over the border between northern China and Mongolia. You saw a little bit of motion there uh, of Dragon. That was that relative motion that the soft capture system is damping out. Once that motion is, is clear, 
then uh, the soft capture system will be retract, retracted and uh, Dragon will go for hard capture. Again, if just now tuning in, that soft capture, that docking coming 7.16 a.m. Pacific, 10.16 a.m. over on the East Coast. Dragon and the International Space Station were flying 262 statute miles right over the border between northern China and Mongolia. So that soft capture ring now going to retract. It's one more step on the way to docking complete. Yeah, and so the, the next step here is once, once the soft capture ring is retracted, there are uh, 12 latches that we refer to as hard capture latches. Um, those are what will really create that pressure tight seal between the Dragon spacecraft and the International Space Station. So once soft capture is complete, and uh, I believe we'll get that call from, from our core here, Anna, then uh, we'll, get, we'll get confirmation of hard capture. And uh, the crew, of course, aboard have, have this information on their displays. So they'll also see indication of hard capture complete. And uh, once those two steps are done, then that's, that's docking complete. That's right, and we're, we're expecting to hear some words from everybody. A pretty monumental moment. I mean, for Doug Hurley, he's returning to where he last docked uh, almost nine years ago on the very last space shuttle mission, uh, now commanding the very first commercial spacecraft to deliver astronauts to the International Space Station. That's, that's got to be cool for them. Uh, they've, they've mentioned quite a few times that their best friends uh, our favorite dads in space, as we've been calling them. Uh, this is this has got to be really cool for them.